Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel and our episode of It's Getting Messy. We taking a flight on up there in the friendly sky so we can try to figure out what is going on down here on this earth. Cha! Candy Burris. On the Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 14. She cutting up honey. We got to take this flight so buckle up because we finna go on a whirlwind ride. It's gonna be bumpy, 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 bumpy. Candy Burris on got into it with somebody on her cast show. On the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Yes, right, Candy and all her glory. Getting up there trying to play Porsche role. I'm like, what in the hell is going on, Candy? You ain't no fighter. You a lover. You sell sex toys. You be in agreement with everybody. But she said she could not control herself. This person got out of pocket with her. She got back out of pocket with them. Then she gonna come back and apologize to the public before we can even see it. Now who that sound like? Who that sound like? Now I ain't put a picture in him. <laughs> but we talking about P. Willie. P. Willie Canada got mad with somebody. And then she done got into a big argument. Show her ass. This, that, and the third. And now she want to come to us and apologize. Now I don't know if it happened over there. With they girls trip to Jamaica or what they were probably here in Atlanta I do not know the streets ain't giving me that much clarity but we know can be what to drag somebody every time she feel disrespected she was like let's go crazy let's get booked let's get booked nook if you book nook nook if you book yeah she was trying to throw them bowls I'm like who was it was it Drew was it uh Kenya was it Milo Shit, it wasn't Portia or, or Nene, <laughs> cause they ain't on the show. And which one of them five ladies got on her nerves? Okay, cause Candy, you know, she pretty much like the bone collector. She don't sit down. She's like a bump on the log sometimes, taking it all in here and there, and then she go in with this what I heard. But I don't know. It could be Juicy Dora or it could be Kenya Moore. And Kenya Moore like to run her mouth a little bit too much too. And Candy have to check us check her sister sometime you remember when she called herself telling everybody or telling cynthia that mike was gonna propose after candy looked at her like she was crazy i like international lover yes but candy fin them throw them bows ho 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 where the ring at is what i'm saying ding 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 all participants wanting to get knocked out Please come to the ring. Please come to the ring. Okay. That's what I was saying. I said this plane ride finna get bumpy. Because dear beloved. We're gathered here today. To get through this thing called. What? Mess. Alright. And Candy had to go crazy. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go crazy. She said you want to get crazy. I can get crazy too. That's right. Look at me. Look at me. Do I feel. Do you see like I want to be playing with you. Honey. So I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to analyze which one she had to go crazy on. Which one she wanted to get. Nook if you book. Book. Nook if you book. And the street's trying to say. That Drusadora over there is just trying to start chaos among the cast. Okay. And she did. They took some pictures. And we didn't see her in some of them. But then you got Mama. Mama Lake. Miss Marlo Hampton. The new peach runner out here. Is she over there trying to tell Candy? She trying to be Candy Mama. Is she trying to uh, put Candy in her check? Is she trying to check Candy? I'm like, I know Candy ain't trying to fight with no old woman like Marlo. <laughs> <laughs> no, it cannot be. So I'm gonna scratch her off the list. Cause that's an elderly person. I mean, Marlo ain't no, you know, she ain't no spring chicken no more, okay? So Candy, tell us, girl, who did you try to go nuck if you buck? You always be wanna drag a bitch in this place. That was you told Nene one time, you ready to snatch your ass up and drag you up. I drag you from room to room, from wall to wall. Okay. Oh, was it Kenya? Did Kenya had a little slip of the tongue or something? Let some business out she wasn't supposed to let some business out to? Is that why her and Marlo had fell out? Because Marlo had told something that Candy, I mean, that uh, Kenya would told her in confidence and it got back to Candy. Candy, like, oh, bitch, you now. Oh, I know you didn't say that about me. Oh, this is on now. I would drag you. Because she said, I am not the one to be played with. That what Candy telling us. That what she giving us. But I don't know. Because I'm still trying to find out. 
You remember that when she said, I'll drag you in this bitch. I don't know if she was talking to Nene or she was talking to somebody else. Because it's way, way back in, I don't know, probably season four. And she was like, I ain't going to have nobody touching me. And then do it. Oh, she was just wild in. But I ain't seen not nothing, nothing get into her hands. Not no weave, not no clothing or nothing. Same thing she was talking shit to Portia. Portia be backing up them. She be throwing them bowls, throwing them bowls. Anger management, anger management. Okay, the nut house, the nut house. You know what I'm saying? She was ready for that action. But she like, I ain't finna get candle on. I ain't finna get her no shine. Oh, no, no, no. But she was giving Nene all the smoke. But, because, you know, I think it was Chris Washington or somebody in there. And she, um, Kenya had showed up late or something. I don't know what was going on. Uh, I think... The men had got in trouble. Maybe they was attacking Todd. Or maybe they were attacking Apollo. I don't really know what was going on. But Candace saw red. She's like, you don't touch my money, my man, or my family. In that order. <laughs> I was like, girl. Slow your roll, Candace. Slow your roll. Slow your roll, Candace. Slow your roll. So whatever happened, whoever she got into it with. I don't know. She, you know, when Candace get mad, she get to crying and carrying on all that stuff. I'm like, girl. Either you're going to throw them blows, you're going to be about them hands, or shut it up, shut it down. We don't want to see it, okay? So, I don't know. I, I'm just not, I, it's between two. For me, it's Kenya or it's Drew Sedora. Because it can't be Sanya, uh, uh, what are her name? Sanya Roberts, Rich Robinson, Ross Robinson, something like that. So, I, I'm still with these two. She don't got into it with Kenya or she don't got into it with Drew Sador. I know she ain't trying to get into it with no Marlo Hampton. No, she not. Because <laughs> Marlo is the oldest one on the show. So, no. You have to take Marlo with a grain of salt, honey. But we know Kenya got a slick mouth now. And <clears throat> freaking, well, the three muscle kills, in a sense, don't broke up. So, everybody, like, every dog for himself up on that show. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to prove their weight. And we know Marlo got to come in and prove, show and prove. And Drew Story, since they threw Portia out, she knows she don't come with the comeback or something that's going to solidify herself in season 15. She out there, though, too. So, we trying to throw her out. Cause I think they brought in uh, Moyota Shaw and stuff. You know, it's just a taking a wavelength like how marlo got on as a friend of the show and stuff like that so i, I you know i want drew to go anyway i don't even know why she him maybe she got into it with can about she couldn't act or something <laughs> i don't know but the plane ride is bumpy y'all the plane ride is bumpy because whatever happened in jamaica or here in atlanta there was a mishap candy came out even on her platform and said well you know y'all gonna see something when it come on but i, I I just want to let y'all know, it, it, hey, uh, you know, I wasn't going to look if a book because it wasn't just me getting on her or she just getting on me. You know, she said some slick at the mouth and I wasn't feeling it. So I said some slick back to her. <laughs> like, girl, I know it wasn't sure right and I know it couldn't be saying because I'm still putting them in the season category. Because I'm like, what will her and Sheree be trying to fight with? You know, they both bone collectors. Maybe they were first about who going to get a correct bone at the correct time or who, you know, I don't know. But I'm not, I'm not really feeling none of them, you know, except for Kenya. Got to put Kenya back in there now. Because she got to show and prove too. Even though she's the center peach. She's the one that people are really looking for to start off the drama. Because she can start it and she can bring it back home. You know, she twirl. She twirl. She twirl, twirl, twirl. She got a tornado around now, okay? So we need her to show up and show out. <coughs> okay? And they, they buddy buddies. They friends, you know what I'm saying? But Kenya can get out of pocket sometimes. So I don't know. Candy probably said, let me check that itch. Let me check on tell her where it is and where it ain't. Okay? Because I am not the one. But it's got to be, y'all. It's got to be Drew Sedora or Kenya Moore that started up the ship and Candy said she had to shut it down. I don't know. But we're going to go on into Urban Bell because I don't told y'all how I felt the situation was going. You know, I'm like, throw them bowls. Don't be coming back explaining that. The girl got in your ass and you had to get back in her ass too. Let the chips fall where they may. You know what I'm saying? Somebody come at you the wrong way. You got to check them because they you let them slide. They think they're going to come back again. So like I said, maybe Drew Sador said something about her acting skills. Or maybe she said she couldn't sing. Or maybe she said her husband is better than Candy husband. Who knows? Because Kenya ain't got too much to talk about. You know what I'm saying? They both got children. Maybe they have playtime with each other. But I can see Kenya being really, really offensive 
towards Candy about anything because she's been riding that boat for a while. Now, that Marlo Hemp, nah, I couldn't see Marlo doing it because, like I said, Marlo is an old season woman. Okay, she ain't got time for all that. She won't say what she got to say. She's going to move on. Now, she might be getting a big head over there since she got her peach and maybe Candy had to say, Look, here. Now, I got Nene straight. I can get you straight too. Quick, fast, in a hurry. Which one you want? Quick. Okay? Or you want me to slow it down and do it in rotation? <laughs> like a little whirlwind. Child, please. But we're going to go to Urban Bell. Um, it doesn't give me the... Well, yes, it do. Uh, Amanda Anderson wrote this article up. It said under the ent entertainment side. It says, Candy Burris goes off on Real Housewives of Atlanta cast member while filming season 14. Now, I'm keep telling y'all, it got to be Drew Sador because she's fighting for her life to stay on that show. Because she need that money. She need that money, honey. She need that money, honey. But she's going in with the wrong person. Her bravo, that's their princess. Now, it was Portia. But, hey, Candy know how to play the ropes. She know how to tote the, 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 the line she know how to get in good graces now we know can you she'll show up and show out take a few seasons off and come back and say how you doing i'm back <laughs> okay because Kay was the one kept her marriage single okay she she went off and got married what else she didn't tell bravo shit bravo was mad as hell at Kenya, and then she wanted to come back with a storyline <laughs> like, we're gonna think about that we're gonna think about it but I, I know it can't be Sanya. I can't, it cannot be Sanya. So it got to be that little freaky freak right there. But anyway, let's go on and get into the story. It said the Real Housewives of Atlanta went through a cash shakeup for the upcoming season. Season 14. Welcome Sanya, Richards, Ross, and Marlo Hampton. As first time Peach holders, Sheree Whitfield returned. We don't know why she returned because we already got the bone collector. That's candy. But, you know, she tried to go for the storyline by her boyfriend in jail. This, that, and third. Then he did that sis and the sea shit. Now we're trying to figure out why Sheree him. So we might not be seeing Sheree in a lot of the episodes because she lied. She reneged. She couldn't get, she couldn't bring in why she was coming back, which was some jail talk. And some love and talk from the jail cell. You know what I'm saying? Give us that story about what's going on with her and Tyrone. Okay. He got a call back. Okay. She, but she tried to keep him there in jail, child, doing all that stuff. She was trying to make him film and all this shit. And he wasn't supposed to go nowhere. He was on the house of the rest. I don't know what's wrong with uh, Sheree. But anyway, this might be Sheree last spin. And she don't come with the comeback with something. She better go find her boyfriend or something. But I think they're finished taping. So... We'll see. We'll see what she gives. <laughs> or she'll be out with the heels. Okay. But, um, oh, out on her heels, I should say. Then we go back to it says, um, plus Candy Burris, Kenya Moore, and Drew Sador remain. Interestingly enough, Portia Williams and Cynthia Bailey are out. It's also looking like Nene Leaks won't be back on the show anytime soon. We don't need Nene, Nene. We don't need Nene, Nene. Nene going out here acting like a damn fool. You know, going here, there, everywhere. But we're going to give it to her because we know she's still grieving. Okay? We ain't going to tap her hands, but lightly. But come uh, September 1st of this year, we're going to like, uh-uh, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. Cut it, cut it, cut it, cut it. We don't want to hear it. We don't want to hear it. Get your stuff, get, get your stuff together, okay? We don't want to hear about no married, messing with no married man. We don't hear about messing with no young man. Okay, get you a decent man. Okay, a hardworking man. A loving man. A God-fearing man. That's what you need, Nene. Need somebody to settle you, ground you, root you down, okay? But we're going to move on from that. Um, That was my pun. Not in this latest article. It said, um... Phaedra Parks also had no plans to return to Real Housewives of Atlanta, but Candy has already said she would leave the show if Portia, I mean, if Phaedra returned. Yes, because she'll be trying to do a cease and desist, cease and desist on Bravo, saying, I told y'all not to bring her back because she infringed on my time. She messed up my name for a minute, run it through the, uh, the mud and everything else, dirted up me, and, 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 and tried to sabotage me at the same time. Y'all let her do it. So now nah, Bravo don't, don't, want, don't want that litigation. Don't want that litigation. So Candy do kind of run stuff when it comes to that. Because Candy ain't leaving Real Housewives of them alone. That's her bread and butter. That's her stable income. That makes her be able to use that income to make the other streams of revenues come through. Okay? Come through with the kickback. So she's establishing herself. She's putting herself out there. She's dipping and dabbing and everything's happening for her. Okay? But um, going back to the article, it says, Weeks ago, it was rumored Drew had some heated moments with Sheree and one of Sheree's friends, according to reports. Drew got so upset, she was throwing dog treats. I was like, oh, that's an assault charge. 
don't throw dogs don't throw dog treats because hell nene was throwing popcorn at kenya and they was trying to say oh she was gonna spit on everything else and nene probably did in her mind <laughs> but you know saliva could be considered an assault charge too how we got all these covids and all these other deadly diseases out here you know what i'm saying or infectious diseases i should say but honey i don't know why she i'm like what i mean do you have no clue do you not know who, who she, candy come from she come from aunt bertha she come from aunt nora and you definitely don't want to mess with uh, mama joyce you don't want to do that okay the three train wrecks will come and tear you up put you in a hole you won't be able to get out of and they will shut the damn lid okay so don't come for candy Please don't come from Candy. Because she got an ace in the hole. Okay. I always have an ace in the hole, honey. So, anyway. I don't know why Bravo let these folk come in here. I don't know why they let Kenya come in here with that scepter and that bull horn. Thinking it's funny and this, that, and the third. He don't do that shit on them other uh, real house on um, Beverly Hills or uh, what do you call it? New Jersey on he don't have all that going on so he should have took that and we wouldn't have that situation with Porsche or whatever but we did we wrote it out and we moved on however when we gonna be throwing dog treats and there ain't no physical dog out there to catch them treats we should have been sending uh, uh what's her name Drusadora to uh some anger management because you just don't what who who had a dog there from the get-go but if she was just smacking around having it in her pocketbook for her own set of treats did she have a dog y'all a dog there y'all let me know okay but it can't be saying you <laughs> say you're too old to be you know she can't run she can't no, be no track star no more okay she's a commentator she's a sports commentator we want to keep her there solidify her there but that damn juice door i don't know i don't know why we still got her but we got her okay we gotta get rid of her she she's holding you know something better for somebody else to come and give us something because drew ain't giving us nothing nothing do i hear nothing nothing okay so oh shoot gotta reload that come on reload i lost my place guys hold on my phone okay um yep she was throwing dog treats i'm like oh my goodness drew got so upset she was throwing dog treats okay not fish treats not the um the cheeses nothing where you just you know you know how people be throwing popcorn you be trying to catch in your mouth not nothing like that this is for animals people she was throwing treats that you feed the animals yeah my dog don't even eat dog treats they eat food okay well my dog is deceased but we're, i'm talking about my daughter's dog but i'm like that's an assault right there but it said it was allegedly drew went off because it was rumored her husband ralph Pittman is gay see that see where it go see where it go let that man fight for his own sexuality if you know he ain't gay why do you care that somebody else saying he gay? Then we had a shit with uh Kenya calling uh said so what she said allegedly. This was going around in Hollywood that um Kim Field husband was gay. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. We only fighting the women. We ain't going after the men. Let the men go after the women, okay? And you see them three, they disgusted. <laughs> I was sitting there right with them like, what? She get mad because somebody called her husband gay? Girl, grow up. Grow a backbone. Come with something better. Come with the comeback. Because that's some bullshit right there. That's what I would say. He could be gay. He could be a clown. He could be es an Eskimo. Okay. I like him. I love him. I'm going to keep him. Okay. Now what do you got over there? See that's what I would have came with. But anyway that was just me not her. But that's why she got mad. Because somebody had told her her husband was gay. I'm like what well, hell he might be. Have you ever thought about it? Okay. But anyway. The article goes on to say it's also been rumored that Kenya and Marlo are back on unfriendly terms. While it's unclear what may have led to their latest fallout, fans can anticipate they would have some heated scenes as well in the upcoming season. Interesting enough, Candy recently told fans that she has had some drama of her own while filming Real Housewives of Atlanta last week. And she didn't mince words. I'm like, Candy, now you're going to have to stand in your shit, baby. If somebody will try to rock your boat and it's not the way you want it to float, go on and handle them itches, okay? Handle them, handle them, handle them. And let the chips fall where they may. Because they shouldn't have went south. They should have been going north. No, they should have gone east to west. <laughs> east to west. They shouldn't have went south. Okay? Or you could have sent them back up north. You see what I'm saying? Get it, got it good. 
You don't go apologize and tell her, girl, she went on her platform trying to say a, do a Porsche stunt. Like, you know, I need to go get me another replay because this ain't going to look good in my favor. Now, nah, Candy, we don't do that. We If we have to throw them balls, we better have some money to get us out of jail. Well, you know how to use that verbal mouth of yours, girl. Cut it where it can. Because, you know, you ain't got to hit nobody. You can slice somebody up with your tongue, honey. And they'd be like, ooh, no, she didn't. I had to fall out and then somebody resuscitate me. <laughs> Where's the oxygen? Because I'm going to get them when I get up. You know what I'm saying? But not, not fighting. We ain't got to be fighting all like that. That, um, that mm-mm. That caused too much damage. And if you had some work done on your face or your body, you don't want that. Mm-mm. You don't want to go and mess up that work, that money you spent out. But, honey, that's all I got to say. We finna land this plane. It was a messy, messy ride. I floated with y'all as much as I could. But y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me who did that and why. Why did they do that on Candy? Candy, did you start that shit first? Or did they come and start it at you and you had to end it? Tell us, girl. The streets want to know. Mama and Dad want to know. Okay? Over at Dad's Sh- Chanel's for this world house. We want to know. Did you get the hit, honey? Did you get the hit on you? Just fighting her in your mind. What was going on? What was said? Give us the 411. All right, guys. So y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all thought about the issue with Candy having to have to say some words and then come back and apologize to her fans for saying what she said and how she said it. Because she said, I'm like, Candy said that? Candy came back and apologized? Don't she know the only person she need to apologize to is the Lord? The Lord and, and only the Lord, okay? Ask for repentance, forgiveness, and keep it moving. Because if somebody offended you, we're not supposed we supposed to turn the other cheek i know and let it slide but it just depends <laughs> it just depends that's what i'm saying that's why the lord look out for us we just have to come to him in good spirit and a good repenting heart he forgive us okay but you know they trespassed against us so we got to trespass against them you know what i'm saying tip for tat but it just is what it is don't be don't be going around here apologizing can if you was in the right and they said something wrong hey now if y'all told somebody personal business you you know you can't do that you can't be mad at somebody and, and, and then you tell their personal business and then they got to go tell your personal business and then y'all be looking all stupid that's why i thought was that kenya moore did kenya moore do something to candy y'all a kid don't get mad when she like you. Then she got to, you know, cuss you out. Then get back with you and stuff. Because, you know, she had to cuss Ken that, um, Kenya out one time. <laughs> she did. Had to cuss her out. Slam on out. But Kenya understood. Don't make no waves with Candy. Keep it kosher. Keep it cute. Until you can come over her in status. And we don't know if that's going to happen or not anytime soon. Because Candy be holding on. Holding on. Mm, 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 mm. Holding on. Yeah, hey, yeah, son. So, Candy with her cute little self trying to do that thing, got her spin off coming out. Uh, the old lady gang thing and stuff. And this looks like it's gonna be spicy too. I'm gonna be spicy, and I'm gonna be right there with it, watching every bit of it. But y'all get down in them comments, y'all let me know what y'all thought about it, okay? See if y'all can figure out the puzzle. Who did Candy get into it with? Was it Marlo? Was it Kenya? Was it Sheree? Was it the newcomer? Sanya? Huh? 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 Because she was ready to drag somebody's ass around now. You see that vengeance in her? She went in the head. Because she said, I am the one. I am the one to take you down if you're ready to go down today. I am the one. <laughs> or I can be the one. Because I'd be ready to drag a bitch up in this mad. That's what she said, girl. That's what she said. She better drag somebody, honey. Take them to the east, to the west, to the north, to the south, and then do it all over again, Rambo style. But that's what it is. That's what it is. And I will see y'all next video. Y'all take care now. Bye.